Hey, what's up guys? It's Hayden here, and today we're going to be looking over a missing clover deck. So, in this deck, we're not going to be going for deck out or to take all our six prize cards. We're just going to be trying to play down as many, all our missing, get prizes with missing clover and Cartana. GX. So, what missing clover does is, the first effect's not really good, but if you play it, you get a look at the top of your deck. We won't be using that effect. But the second attack lets us if makes it so that if we have four in our hand, we take a prize card. So that's pretty difficult to get four in our hand. So and we can only use it once. So the solution is we use treasure hunt. And treasure hunt basically allows us to get one item card from our discard pile into our hand. So this can include rescue stretcher, ultra ball, trainer mail, VS Seeker, all our items, and pretty much supports if there's a VS Seeker. So we can also get, more importantly, our Missing Clovers back with this. But the real issue we have here is if we play all our four Herd Ears, and we play all our four Missing Clovers, there's not really a way to get them back. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically use Celebi to de-evolve our Herd Ears, and Get the missing clovers back and use it each turn. So, the all, another issue is, like, what if they knock out the the Celebi? Well, we play Ego Shock, so every turn we de-evolve the Raichu, and we basically use this ability to paralyze active. So they'll have to Guzma around the Celebi, and therefore they won't kill kill it. Like kill it. Sorry, sitting there. Um. And, but if they do, we also play Rescue Scarf, which allows us to put Selby back in our hand if it's knocked out. So, they can, it never goes to the discard pile, unless they feel blur. So, that's, it's pretty good. And then we can always pick it up again. So, the way we're going to set, get set up is we're basically going to use Itrachi to get supporters let loose to get, um, to draw cards. And we're going to play level ball here because all our Pokemon are 9 HP except for Orangur, Raichu, and Kartana. And just one more thing about Orangur, we play it just in case the Celebi does go in the discard pile. It's lost in, but we also want to have another out. And resource management in general is pretty good. We play 4 Devo Sprite so that we can de-evolve the Raichu or the Herdier when we don't have the Celebi out. We play one Rescue Stretcher because we can pick it up and we can just recycle our Pokemon. Play four Trainer's Mail because we're going to want to see cards and get those Missing Clovers and with Herdier, but if we don't get the Missing Clover, we can always chain Trainer Mail. Play four Ultra Ball, pretty standard, we want to get the Pokemon out. 3 VS Seeker, we don't play 4 because we basically only need, we can reuse it, get our supporter back, get from Herdier, really good. 2 Skyfield, we play a lot of Pokemon, we're going to need the space, Skyfield's a really good supporter here. 2 Colrus, we play a lot of Pokemon, so therefore we'll draw a lot of cards off Colrus. 2 Gladian, we won't have bad prizes, so getting a prize card out with Gladian is good. One Guzma, just if they try to trap us, we have a Guzma. Just Guzma is really good. Two Lily. Lilies are optimal starting supporter for the start of the game, so we can get eight cards and get set up. One N, so that we can limit your, our opponent's hand size if they're going really, if there's a turn where we want them to whiff something. One Floatstone, we want to retreat. Six Meloners, geez, because we're going to want to use metal for Kartana's GX attack, and we need to power it up with Selby. So this is a deck. Now let's see it in action. I'm not sure if it's the most competitive deck. There's a lot of issues with it. I think, I'm just going to check, but I think we also played Muck in the list. But real quick, this was not my original idea. It was from the channel iCatterpie, and he did this profile with Celebi, uh, 
Raichu and Herdier on his channel, but it was in the standard format. So I want to try it and expand it where it's a bit easier. And where you can use that um, rescue scarf. So let me just find the deck. Sorry about the, that. And yeah, we do have a map. Okay. So let's see some games. This deck is not great too competitive, but I think it's pretty fun and it can be good once it's set up. So we're seeing just a colorless deck, which is a little unusual. I don't see that every day, but it might be like a quad um, Snorlax build or something like that. You never know. Okay, so we're going to lose our coin flip, and he's going first. So that's not great. We're going to want to set evolutions. So here, I think it might be good just to start the Pikachu, because we might want to use our Nuzzle attack first turn. And I forgot to see this, but there's actually a Lily Pup from Black and White Base that's better than this, because he gets an Iron Card for your discard for one close. So, um, if you're going to build this deck, make sure you have that. I didn't have it for the sake of this video, so I do apologize. But, yeah, it's a lot better. Alright, so we're going to bench that because we could get end. Or we don't want to lose it. Alright, so there's Tauros. It looks like a Tauros deck. Which means our, prov our nuzzle might, if we flip ahead, it will definitely stick. Unless he uses a Guzmora switch. So it looks like it's a, a Tauros deck. That should be pretty good for us. Tauros can't one shot, so it'll be. Okay. So I don't want to bench Celebi here because we don't have the rescue scarf. So I don't really want it going down anytime soon. So we're just, we're just gonna really. Do you think that's a fine play? Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to level ball here, and we're going to ditto, seems to be prize, just going to check prize cards. Uh, Marsh Shadows prized. No Clovers are prized, thankfully. Two VS Seekers. Energy. Uh, that's not the worst. So you're gonna wanna go for I guess a lily pub here. Just get just get the hard ears rolling. The trainers now. Trainers mail, I think we should get for go for maybe a Divos right here. Because we can go for we can pick up the level ball next turn and go for a Jirachi. And I think we're just going to use... Um, actually, I think I'm fine benching this. Because if they knock it out, then we can just bring it up. We'll see. I'm going to go for a Nuzzle. So yeah, I, my opponent will probably not be able to knock it out. So this could be this could be scary. Doesn't seem like they played the other one, but you never know. I'm gonna bring up the Salvi. We are going to I am going to I don't know what I'm saying we I am going to play the Skyfield. And sorry if the background noise is a little noisy. We are doing it in a different room today. Um, I think I'm just going to go for a level ball here. Struggled a bit with that. Um, go for a level ball. Going to get the Pikachu out of the discard. 
gonna love a ball for another herd here. So we can chain, I can chain it. Gonna play the herd here and then get another level ball. And then I'm going to go for a chorus here because it's the same as an N, but my opponent's gonna have to keep his hand. And he didn't play, play the Cynthia, but I don't think, I don't wanna give him two more cards. And I don't, I don't really feel comfortable playing down the Devo Sprite or the, discarding the Devo Sprite or the mis Missing Clover, so I'll just Chorus here. It's also good that I got in the discard pile, because it'll be pretty good later on. Um, so, I, the, I, the Mars Shadow is prized, so that means... Um, that basically means that my opponent could, I don't think, right, as it stands, it's not possible for my opponent to kill this, but I still feel like I should play it safe here, and maybe go for, maybe discard the Gladian for a Pikachu. And then retreat into the Pikachu, and then I think that's okay. And the next turn, I will Devil Soda or De Evolution Spray the, or I can just do that now, I guess. And then I'll just play it down on the way up, and then go for like a trainer's mail. So that's, that's a bit nerve wracking though, I didn't get the energy. But it looks like my opponent won't be KOing it. And that's actually really bad though that I attached the float stone, because that means I can't use the Rusky Scarf. Which is, which is a bad misplay on my part. I don't play Field Blower. And I cut the AZ too, so. Looks like I won't be able to get the, the, what's it called, the item card on it. So that's actually really bad on my part. So if my opponent plays a switch or something, he might lose. Okay, but we'll see. Get two hurt ears. Looks like, I think I'm just going to go for... A trainer's mail, see what I get. Gonna get a Diva spray. That's not great. Right. Go for another trainer's mail. D but lose Marshall is prized. That's bad. This is pretty bad. do here. Um, I don't think I can win this game, honestly, so I think I'm just going to scoot. Do you think that's fine? Yeah. Like, I'm I already, scoop. I already scoop. misplayed, and we're a little tight on time, so I think I'm going to scoot that. Just, I, I, should, I think I should just, next time, don't, not attach the close to the that, that's, that sets up for something scary. Alright, so we're, we're rolling into the next game. A couple misplay, a uh, couple unfortunate draws and a misplay. Maybe scoop that one. But, hopefully we can be more fortunate. And get some good luck. Okay, so I'm going first. That's good. This, this looks like a really good hand. If I've ever seen one. We can get two Lily Pops, which is really good. Alright, so Mulligan one. Oh, 
Alright, let's see it. What are we gonna get from the mulligan? Chorus. Not bad. Okay. So, this is good. I will... I'm not sure. I won't play the Marsh Daughter before the Lily. Because I think it's pretty... I have a pretty good hand. I'll follow the Chorus in the end. I'll get out a, a ditto. I'll get out a lily pop. And then I'll get out Idrachi. Just gonna check if there's lily. Yeah, lily's in there. Just gonna check prizes. There's four missing clovers. There's only three hernias. So I think Akirachi for Gladian and Mar that least is okay. Do you think that's fine? Drachi, Gladian, and what was? Because one of our herd years is prized. Good strap. Very good. I just wait a turn. You wait a turn to get the thingy move up. The Sylvie? I think it's okay though. We'll see what happens. I think I'm gonna need to get their herd year out eventually, so I think to get it out right away is okay. So yeah, the rest of the archer is all surprised, which is pretty bad. And then we're gonna let loose. Okay, so thankfully I got the the level ball and the lily pop, which is good. So I'm gonna bench the lily pop and I'm gonna pass. So technically I can get all four of the the herd years out, which is really good, and we will show you guys a good game. Okay, so we're gonna get a herd year. Gonna get another herd year. We'll just chain this until we get. Four herd years in play. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it as herdier or herdier. I I don't really know how to properly pronounce it. So please forgive me. All right. So level ball, king herdier, and we're just gonna chorus for five. I think it's it's fine. Five is fine. This is this is just an example of like how powerful treasure hunt is. Just getting like how long you to chain level walls and get all your herd years out is really good. And that's why I think it's a lot better in standard. Alright, so of course for five. That's not quite what I wanna see here. It's not great. So I think I'll just pass it. Hopefully we get a top deck. That's decent. Cheering. That's an okay card. Level ball. A lot of level balls. Really good card. Wall Looks like the opponent's just gonna retreat. Beacon, get out some Pokemon. Just, I'm, I think I'm okay with that. Okay, let's try for three energies to 60, and both act Pokemon are asleep. That's funny. It's pretty bad. 
on an EX with 9 HP too, but good thing has Lila's ability. So it looks like it's a Charizard deck with Salazzle. Um, okay, that's nothing. I don't think my opponent will not be able to knock me out, so I'll just pass again. Next turn, I'll probably float stone and then retreat into Marshall, but I, I don't think my opponent can do anything like that right now, unless my opponent has a switch or something. It looks like it'll be a VS Seeker for Chiron. Chiron's not, not the most playable card, but you know, it is a draw card. Not if it's Tierno, if it's Tierno, then it'd be good. Because Tierno's like, he's the best draw three compared to Sharon, and Sharon's like inferior. The thing was, with Tierno, they never gave it a full art. Yeah, no. So sad, they had to do him like that. Tierno got a full art and how got full art, but no Tierno. Mm -hmm. Also, Tierno, there's only one art. Tierno only has one art. He got reprinted twice, but he only has one art. Does Sharon have one art? Um, I think Sharon has two. What like the he has, art? He has a full art. And then he got reprinted once. This is bad. And then Howe has one as well, right? He has a full art, regular. And you know. a different art too. Mm -hmm. Um, this is pretty bad. I think what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to retreat into Marshall. I don't want to play the rest of these down. Because if I do do that, then I'm in trouble and I'll have to pass. It's going to be unfortunate. But we're going to hope to knock him to knock it. Or, like, our opponent will knock it out. And then maybe next turn we'll get a, a Pikachu down. So yeah, my opponent is just getting out that Tremuline nap. It looks like my opponent will also get that, that Charizard next turn, which will start doing doing some work against all my Pokemon. They are Steel Pokemon in play too. So that it'll knock out it. Charizard will knock out anything in this deck. Um, I just need to hope that there is not a field blower. Because a field blower would be very, very, very bad. A field blower, rescue scarf, knockout would pretty much end it. There's a charming alien. And then, should be a beacon for two Charizards. Which looks pretty intimidating, but as long as we can keep up, we should be okay. Alright, so we'll, we'll see a beacon here. Um, probably for two Charizards or a Salazzle. My opponent probably could attack this turn. Just shows not to. Okay, we get we got a trainer's mail, that's really good. I think Skyfield is a card to get here. Skyfield seems pretty good. The little pot here, and then I'll get out. I don't want to get out this Salvi right now. 
but next turn I'll probably like but I could just love a ball for a Pikachu. And then yeah. I'll pass it. Don't know if I should have got the Selby out. I don't know. I don't really want to reveal to my point my plan. I want to hold on to all these cards. But if I get a supporter, that'd be very, very good. We will see this deck in action. Alright, so he will be. My opponent will be using the Roaring Resolve, really good ability. Let's my opponent get two Fire Energies out, and then KO stuff. So, let's see what happens. I could have attacked Percy Scar, cause, but then I'd have to find Devo's Ray to get back right away, but so, I don't know. I'm just gonna see Salazzle, that's fine. But I think Charizard would have been better for us. But not by too much. You could see. No, Queen Sight is nothing. Alright, he blasts. <laughs> On 30. So now. I can get out. Okay. Slightly awkward. So there's six Pokemon, I guess, Ultra Ball for Celebi, Rusty Scarf, and then, and then Colrace for 10, should net us an energy, so I think that, that's fine. And so, I just need an energy, and a Raichu here, off the 10 cards. That's, that's not asking for too much, honestly. We will see. Oh my gosh. No energy. That's pretty weird. Get the Devo spray. Here's one again. Getting the missing clover. And then what I'll do here is I'll Ultra Ball the Guzma, the Lily Guzma. Play the Raichu down. And then I'll paralyze it, and then next turn I will most likely get the energy. And then I could actually just, I guess, I get, I guess I can Devo Spray here, but yeah, that's fine. And then we'll just, we'll just be a seeker for Colrus again, and then hopefully we can get something out. So I'll just pass my turn. So, we're not too bad. If my opponent does decide to go for Selby, I can actually get the Rusty Scarf, so we'll have to see. Sorry if this is not, sorry if this might not be entertaining for all of you guys. It's not really a deck that takes quick prizes. Kind of takes a while to build up. But, it's, it's still pretty good. Okay, so we see a Roaring Resolve hitting my opponent's board. Good play for my opponent would be Yuzma. I think one of the one of the herders is Ditto. I could have level bought for a Pikachu, I guess. That could have been pretty good. 
mess that up a bit. I don't think that was a misplay, but oh, because of my opponent, it gives me that the Pikachu I won't be able to knock it out. Or if I Devo sprayed the Herdier with a Diddle under it, that'll also be good. But my opponent's just going to Cynthia, and that's good news for us because we'll probably survive another turn. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna paralyze my opponent. Bench the Pikachu. We're we're most likely gonna get the Herdier off it, but I think I'll still bench it. Put it down and then get like a VS Seeker back. For another turn, and then Colrus for a ton of cards. Trying to get the four missing clovers. Okay, let's see. Missing one, but we have Trainer's Mail, four cards left. Let's see it. There we go. Four missing clovers equals a prize. And then the energy. That's weird, we only got two energies off that. A lot of mail energies must have been prized. There's a rescue stretcher, that's a good prize to get off that. And then. I think. That one does not look evolved. Did, did I Diva spray this turn? Oh, you can evolve the other one. Yeah. Just gonna get that so that we can get another missing clover. Just in case something goes south. We can only we only need to get three. And then we will be get, using time distortion. And then that means we should be getting another prize next turn. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much set up now. And with Cartana, I can get in the lead in prize trade too. So there it is. Four herdy years in my hand. <laughs> can get one extra item card. But, so whenever, just for, okay, we get him. That sucks. But normally, whenever you um use this place deck, you always have an extra item card that you can get out. Always get the another lucky clover, so that you next turn you don't have to dig or anything else. Super scoop up. Uh oh. So, but because we actually used the missing clover last turn, I can actually just get eat. Use my fourth herdier for the rescue scar. So that's pretty good. My opponent won't get it down. I think I'll, I can just cool risk for a bunch. Anyways, so we'll get to keep the Sabi. Don't want to deck out though. I don't think we will. We won't deck out, right? If you play chorus, you will. No, right? Mm, yes. If you play chorus, you will deck yourself out. This turn? Let me just do math. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. If I play that, there'll be. Four cards left. Yeah, there, there'll be four cards left. And I got the rescue search off the prize cards anyway. So, it won't be a de deck out situation. Could have evolved, got the rescue card if that's a misplay. But, seeing as this deck's pretty bad drawing, it won't matter. So level ball, 
for a hernia. You, do you think it's her or her dyer? Um, her dyer. Her dyer? Okay. I'm gonna call her here, so. Oh, I guess it would be whatever in the anime they call him. Hopefully, our viewers are not too offended. But, I think I'm just gonna call it her dyer. Because I've been calling it the whole time. Anyways, we're just gonna get the missing clovers with the treasure hunt. And then the last one will be for the rusty scarf so that we won't lose it. And then there's a heart broke break in emoji or whatever. Evil shock. And then evil shock. And then we'll get a prize card. And then hopefully you guys see the combo now. We can pretty much chain, chain like the missing clover um, as long as my opponent doesn't get a weird knockout. Ooh, this is gonna be pretty good. And then we're gonna time distortion, picking out all the full of Pokemon. This combo was pretty good. It's pretty. It was pretty easy to get out. Actually, it didn't take us too much turns. It has a lot of um, strengths. To just waiting a little bit. Our deck's only at two. It's going to be at two cards. Pretty much have option a lot of options here. We pretty much won't deck out because we can just reuse resources, reuse our supporters, and we also have a Wrangler too. But eventually, I'll need to. Rusty Stretcher in the Cartana and Marshadow. So we'll see what my opponent do. Will do. There is Guzma. My opponent used one of his Super Scoop Bot, one of his VS Seekers, so my opponent will probably have outs to something else. But there's burn, burn damage. Interesting. That's pretty scary because the thing with burn is if it if I get killed with burn, it doesn't work because that's be damage. So I have to retreat here, or I guess I can live, but eventually, if my poison if the poison catches up to me, then I'll lose. So I think I'm fine for now, or I'll, I'll just I'll just retreat, get rid of it, and then I'll just take an extra turn just to get some extra cards out. So I'll retreat, send up. Doesn't quite matter. Send up that, and then. I'll wait a turn to use this stuff. Or I could just paralyze it, but I'll just wait till I get the combo going again. So pass. So, like, yeah, but the thing that's awkward is damage counters kill it, make it so that I can't reuse it. So I'm gonna have to give my opponent like a free prize here, just in favor of not dying. Could have also gone for a Guzma that that could work too, but oh well. A bunch of misplays. What's up there? And then I'll just stretch her. The three Pokemon back. Paralyze. And then pick up the clovers.
And then if if it does get like into a situation where I could deck out, I could always just use Orangaroo too. So I'm gonna keep that bench slot open. So that turn I could have actually used mid and then gone a couple treasures back I missed some clovers back. But oh well, it's okay. But I can actually win in two turns with my Cartana, so yeah. Alright, so I'll de evolve these Pokemon. My pony cannot use hot poison again, so that means I can secure the dub by getting the missing clovers and then putting down the, um, the treasure hunt. Awkward thing my opponent could do is excuse my one of the late puffs because I didn't ultra ball for it earlier just to save some cards. But I think that, that was an okay play, right? Gonna check is it if there's anything team Liza, yeah. Opponent's doing pretty well at keeping up. But I think I think he's gonna have this have the game then. Because I pretty much have the Ultra Ball Cartana Cartana GX attack next turn. The one scary thing is my opponent could just get the Jirachi. So, I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna paralyze and then end because my opponent can get the Jirachi out. I, or my opponent can use my, perhaps the Jirachi and win the game that way. So I'm just gonna basically bench Celebi. I I pretty much don't have to get the extra bench spot out because I'm just gonna be ending. So I don't have to play the up here. Paralyze. I'll pick up. Versus Seeker. The Rescue Scarf. The Missing Clover. Seeker for a chorus. Um, do I have bench a little bit up here? I don't think so. Because then I can't um, use Cartana the next turn. Or I'll be behind anyways. So I think this is. But actually, no. Because my, my opponent gives them as anyways. They'll just kill Draji. So I don't really need to play down. But it's all just via Seeker and. Hope they break. Um, I can probably seal away the game. Got the Marshall Lily. Okay. Now I'll just deal all, and then next turn I can take a pri two prize cards. So I'm gonna have to wait an extra turn. My opponent has to whiff it, whiff it, whiff it twice, pretty much. But I can actually go for... But for the most part, next turn, I'm probably gonna go for Hardier for Trainer Mail. And then that'll give me like a 
Or maybe Lily's a bit better. We'll see. Opponent has gives my opponent wins. You get one extra card off treasure hunt. Oh, Pokemon Center League, that's bad. That's pretty lucky on my opponent, honestly. It's not play draw cards, so it was off of two cards. Point two card deck. My opponent has to top deck. Um, I think I'm gonna have to let loose though. Or no, I don't have to let loose because if they take the the KO, it'll be over anyway. So I don't have to get the rescue her. Paralyze. My opponent. Her dire. For missing clover. Her dire for missing clover. Her dire for another missing clover. And I'm gonna have to fia seeker here. I won't deck out though. Fia Seeker Chorus. Hopefully we can get the cards we need. That's three, we don't have it. Uh, that's annoying. Actually, we might have it if we find if there's Devo Spray left. We might have the game because I think Devo Spray's Devo Spray's either in it or it's prized. So, actually, no, we can't do that. Oh, this is awkward. I think GX is fine here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll have to shock him. You have to shock him for sure. I already shocked. Oh. But I, I think I need to evolve here though. Yeah, I need to evolve. Doesn't matter. That card tunnel will not matter on the bend because the draw will be enough anyways. So we just need to top deck it. If we top deck, we win next turn. Or no, no, we could just win. I think because if we if we top deck for sure, it'll be easy to win. Because then we can go chorus. We can if we top deck lucky clover, we'll go lucky clover one prize, pick them up one prize, and then blade for the last prize. But. My opponent cannot find an answer. 22, 21 card deck. Don't think he top decked it. Opponent got four, like four cards in total. Um, and out of 25, I don't think two outs is very likely there. So I think I might be able to close it. But my opponent's thinking hard. I don't know. 4 out of 24, 22 that he got 2 outs. 4 out of 25, I mean. Maybe my opponent got like a draw, like a draw support, so for just spending, that might be the case. 
It's an intense blacksmith. I think I think that's that's it. I think it's it. Maybe my opponent's just gonna go overkill. Cause they have a switch. Do they have it? It's the last card. Do they have it? No. Okay, don't top deck. Can I deck out though? I think I should be able to deck out. Gonna deck out because we'll have it at that point. Oh, an energy is prized. Or how many energies? Yeah, an energy is prized. Oh no. This is intense. That means we might not get it this turn. Scary. Okay. Chorus again. I don't know. We might we might win, we might lose this, this is scary. Thirteen, yeah, we're gonna deck out. If we get an energy off here, we win. Hopefully. That's actually fine. Um, I don't... Uh, it's not worth risking it. I think we're just gonna have to wait an extra turn now. Because we didn't get the... It was, it was about 33% chance. It's about... Now it's a 50-50 that I win, so 50% chance, so I don't, I think we're just going to have to play it safe, and then just play it like no, out normally, let's go for, go for pretty much the rusty stretcher here, pretty unfortunate. Rusty Chatter, pretty much. The Pokemon. Go for. Outs for. Just out. And then just outs for an N. So just trainer mails. I think that's it. My opponent can't find another response. Oh, it's for the Gladian, pretty much. So, three. Th there's three. There's four outs in there. And then an N to two. It means that if we get N, it won't. It will probably be fine, right? If we get N, we should be okay. I'm not sure. Uh, that's a more in the prize card. <laughs> didn't get it. Didn't want to risk it too. My opponent can't top deck something good. We'll see though. This prize card might might be the difference between a win and a loss. Only three six seconds on the clock though. Don't even know if I can get the game in time. Looks like it's nothing. Just gonna, yeah, just gonna have to do this turbo because we might not have enough time, time to close it. It's unfortunate. It's gonna be a long video. Alright, there it is. Continuous blaze ball. Just my opponent's doing overkill, sorry. So 36 seconds. I'm pretty much gonna have to get pick up four lucky clovers and gladium all at once. Okay, three six seconds on the clock. Galadian. What? Oh, I messed it up. Oh, let's go. Quad Herdier. No, but I don't. I don't have the. 
I don't have the metal energy. I, I wasted it. Oh, there was never prizes the whole time. I think I, I just lose because I misplayed. Oh no. Timer's gonna kill me. That's bad. That's bad. The metal energy wasn't in there. It was in the discard pile. There's a timer. We lose. Okay. So we didn't come up with a win in this video. But you guys saw misplays. And still, you guys saw the potential of the deck. If you count your energies, if you're aware of it. And maybe if you like spend less time on the game timer, then you can come up with wins. But that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. Please. And if you really liked this channel, subscribe. We, we upload videos every Wednesday. So stay tuned for the next video. Alright. Have a nice week. Bye.